Midsummer, the Northern Empire. I have left the Batanian lands and am back in the Empire, for a little while anyway. I descended from the Uchalian Plateau down one of the steep glens that run down its eastern side. The road runs through some of the most ancient woods in the Batanian lands, twisted oaks covered with moss that, thanks to the shadows of the high cliffs, are kept in darkness for most of the day. When I emerged back into the sun, it was though I had awoken from a dream. After a few hours of marching through the meadows, I spotted the great octagonal keep of Epicrotea in the distance. I had been here as a child, and the town was almost as impressive as I remembered it. The gate, the basilica, the obelisk towering over a clean and orderly marketplace. The Argoros family, which holds the archonship of the town, takes its responsibility to guard the northern borders seriously, and part of their task is to maintain their town in such a way that a foreigner's first glimpse of imperial power is suitably overawing. I found Istiana's agent Salian easily enough in the tavern where he said he'd be waiting. He was there with his constant companion Skjorin, a Nord. Skjorin was a former member of the Shield Brotherhood, a band of Nord mercenaries famous for their discipline. Salian, for his part, had fought with the Lost Legion, a band of former Imperial soldiers who, feeling betrayed by the leadership of the Emperor Noretzes, abandoned the army to fight for silver. Salian and Skjorin met, if you can call it that, on a battlefield, where their respective mercenary companies had fought for opposite sides, and both had been badly wounded. They helped each other stagger to safety in a peasant's barn, and after a month's convalescence, decided they never wished to be parted. The Shield brothers would not admit a legionary, nor the Legion admit a brother. So they found their way to Epicrotea and accepted work as enforcers for the local gang leader. They were not cruel men, and seemed to see the breaking of debtor's legs as an unpleasant task of last resort rather than a perk of the job. But, as Salian said, any man who owns no land must make himself useful to someone else. His great regret, he said, was that military orders like the Legion or the Shield Brothers preserve the memory of comrades-in-arms in songs and epics, while no one will ever remember two petty enforcers of a petty ganglord, no matter how deep their friendship might be.